Hey guys, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Hope you guys have had a great week. It's been a pretty good one around here, but I'm glad it's Friday. It's actually my 21st wedding anniversary today, and we're gonna go out on a date tonight. I am very excited. So it's a good Friday around here. Hey everybody, good to see you. All right, let's see if I can find me as well. And make sure I can see. All right, hey, hey. Hi, Debbie, thanks for joining me today. Um, this week for Facebook Friday, I chose a set that you may not have seen before. It's called Cute Fruit. And it is actually not in the annual catalog. It's in a little catalog brochure we call the beginner brochure. Um, it's a little separate publication that Stampin' Up! puts out. It's very, I mean, it's very small um, for demonstrators to use at um, classes and events so that um, when customers maybe are new, um, they're not so overwhelmed by our huge annual catalog. It's kind of a condensed version of some of our favorite things. So um, that's where it's from. So if you have the um, beginner brochure, you can find cute fruit on page seven. It's right there. Um, and it is only $16. I noticed on my uh, list that I put 19. It's actually 16, which is a very inexpensive stamp set. Um, you can also find it online. You don't have to have the catalog. Um, when I'm done, I'll link you guys to the PDF of this if you want to take a look. There are a couple things in here. The little zany zebras are in here too that we did. So some of it's the same and some of it's a little bit different. Um, so I will link this over for you guys when I am done here and I add in all the links at the top. Hey guys, it's so good to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, where do I start? Where do I start? How about Paper Pumpkin? If you are a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, hopefully you got your Paper Pumpkin box or, you know what's funny? It's so weird how these ship. Um, they're, I think they must go like bulk mail or something because they are super um, inconsistent. Although some people get them really fast, so it must not be bulk mail. I am usually, it takes a whole week after they ship, if not more. And I ordered extra boxes this month, so uh, they, <laughs> I got four of them yesterday and that's not how many I ordered. I'm assuming today I'll get some, I'll probably get some tomorrow. They kind of come in waves when you order more than one. Um, so anyway, here it is, it's really cute. Um, this is, it's called Box of Sunshine. And the reason I'm telling you about it, here's some, here's a little, little thing inside. It was designed by our CEO, Sarah. Um, and everything in here is like yellow and black. It's cute, I haven't made it yet. See, even the tissue paper is yellow. You get a stamp set, and you get a basic black stamp and spot, which is awesome, because they usually don't put basic black in here. Um, it's good to have these little spots. They're very they're very good to have. So just collecting the spots um, is so, uh, I think is a, a perk of, of um, having a Paper Pumpkin subscription. So anyway, um, in your Paper Pumpkin subscription, you have then a kit, and here are the projects. You may have seen them already online. Um, the reason I'm telling you this, it's too late to subscribe this month, but I ordered a bunch of extra. Um, I have started doing that because many of you will email me and say you forgot to subscribe or you forgot to reactivate or whatever. So I've been ordering extras. So if you didn't get one and you want one, please let me know. I um, have some of them already spoken for, but if you want one, message me or email me, okay? And I expect to have quite a few this time if they show up. <laughs> no, they will. Um, they're coming in batches. My husband brought in the mail yesterday. He's like, you got a bunch of little boxes. He should be used to it by now, but I guess because they're yellow, he didn't even recognize what they were. Um, it's very cute, right, Chris? She says she loves a sunshine paper pumpkin kit, and it is very cute. It's um, Box of Sunshine is something that I've seen for a while where you buy a bunch of little yellow stuff like gum, yellow candy, lemonade, and you put it all in this uh, box with yellow tissue paper and call it a Box of Sunshine gift it's a really creative idea so I think that's kind of what it's based on um, but and I can't and I should know this I don't even know um, I think they're all cards 
but I am not 100% sure. Yep, they're cards. All cards. They're beautiful. There's gold. Ooh, wow. I'm going to put these together. I love that. All right, so anyway, let me know if you need one. Um, I'm just going to remind you of a couple things. That's the Pick a free, I know it's backwards, pick a free bundle starter kit promotion. Um, the starter kit is always a good deal, $99. You choose $125 of product, anything you want, and free shipping. During this month, you get all of that plus a free bundle. Um, a bundle is a stamp and a matching die or a stamp and a matching punch. Um, so you get to add that on. So that makes the value of the starter kit go up close to $200 possibly. So if you are interested in that, make sure that you read up. I'll add the link here at the top um, of the video if you are interested in that. We've had quite a few people um, join this month uh, buying the starter kit and then they join my, they become part of my team when you buy the starter kit. And it's been fun um, having all our new excited sweet stampeders um, on our team so it's fun there's lots of perks you know you'll get a discount um, from he here and through at least until the end of September 20% and then it goes up to 25% after a while um, you also get my PDFs for free and my classes at a discount so there those are three pretty big perks oh and you get early access to the holiday catalog which will be next month <laughs> holiday crazy in July. But anyway, let me know if you have questions about that. The other thing is, and um, my team, I have to tease them. I told them about this and then some of them pretended like they never heard me. I was teasing them that they weren't listening to their mother. And I, have, if you guys watch Tangled, there's a song on Tangled um, called, I don't know if it's called Listen to Your Mother, but those are the lyrics in my, I sing it to my girls all the time. So I, uh, was singing it to my downline. Anyway, <laughs> you get an extra $25 in product, uh, or no, extra, well, yeah, $25 in stamp and rewards this month when your order hits $250. Um, so that can be a workshop order if you had a workshop online or at your house, but it also could be your um, individual order. If you hit, get up to $250, normally you get $25 in stamp and rewards. Stamp and rewards just mean more free stuff. Pick out free stuff. Um, Mother knows best. It's Catherine, is that what it's called? Yes, okay, you guys know what song I'm talking about. Um, and so during this month, when you hit 250, you actually get $50 altogether. Free stuff. It's pretty awesome. The catalog's so good. The, uh, um, I know everybody's wish list is huge and everybody uh, could use some free stuff, right? I know. Okay. Um, my class to go um, this month is the Celebrate Sunflowers class. The deadline is Sunday. Uh, this Sunday. I will start cutting on Monday. So if you want this class, I've shown it to you guys before. If you want this class, make sure that you register by Sunday at midnight. Um, let me know if you need that registration link. I'm not allowed to list to link that on um, social media or on my blog, just um, Stampin' Up! Policy, but I can send it through email. So if you wanna register for this class to go, a class to go is just um, a class delivered to your mailbox that you do at home. It includes a full color step-by-step -step PDF. It includes everything you need except for ink and adhesive. Um, either you can include the stamp set and the dies or you can use your own, um, but it is a fun deal, especially during quarantine. Oh, quarantine. I thought we were, I thought we were doing this guys. I thought things were getting better and now suddenly we're doing this again here in South Texas. And I'm afraid that they're going to lock us down again. Please God, don't let that happen. I know. I don't think I could take that again. <laughs> I know. You know what? I'm not even going to get started um, on that because <laughs> nobody wants to talk about it. Okay. How about um, door prizes? I have two door prizes from last week. These two ladies shared the video and were chosen at random. Don Hutchins and Corrine Anderson. Don, I know I have yours. Corrine, I'm not sure. Message me your address. Okay. <laughs> Denise. She says, yep, get your TP, your toilet paper. Oh, Lord help us. Oh, we cannot go through that again. Um, I know, Elaine. I know. It's no. We're not, we are gonna ignore COVID right now. We are not gonna we're not gonna think about it for the next hour. Ladies, you won. 
message me your address. Dawn, I know for sure I have yours, so unless it's changed, you don't need to message me. And these were last week's winners, and I haven't heard from them, so I wanted to announce it again. Janet Godshock and Becky Davies. If you know them, tag them, tell them. I want to send them these prizes, okay? Um, okay. Now, if you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, oh, wait, I have to tell you something else. Okay, so hopefully you saw my announcement yesterday. Uh-oh, I see you guys getting, sh nope, we're not going to talk about it. Shh, nope, we're not going to talk about COVID. <laughs> we're only going to talk about stamping and fun stuff, okay? Let's pretend it's not happening. Pretend. Um, this is your hour to escape all that. Um, club Create, here it is right here. Club Create is my new club. I have been doing Stamp Club to go, well, Stamp Club for 11 years. My 11th anniversary is coming up next month. And that was the very first thing I started when I started doing Stampin' Up! was Stamp Club. And I have carried it on through until this, this month. This was the last month. Um, I decided to change it. It had become kind of stale for me. <laughs> Laura, you're always positive. Um, it had kind of become stale for me and I wanted to reinvent it and do something um, a little bit different. So I have created a program called Club Create and it's a subscription program basically. Um, you subscribe and every month I send you a fun kit in the mail, a club kit and it's going to include projects. I'm not specifying how many projects because that will probably fluctuate depending on what I come up with. Um, I'm going to try to keep it um, varied so that each month is different than the last month. You know, you won't, um, it won't become stale. It won't become the same thing over and over and over again. I'll pick a stamp set or a bundle and that will be our focus each month. The kits will not include the stamp set or bundle because I know a lot of you already have them. Um, it will include your projects and product. You're gonna get a lot of product. This is a product heavy club. Because that's fun, right? Getting new product. Yeah, I love it. So that's what we're gonna do. Lots of you have already signed up. Club Create right here. The The reason I'm calling it a club, oh, Patty. Hi, Mom, she says. Patty was the one I was singing to. It was funny. Patty, you know I was joking, right? Hopefully that came off as funny as I thought it was. Um, the reason I call it a club is because at the six month, when you have been in the club for six months, you're gonna get $25 in product of your choice. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna email you and say, tell me what you want. I'm gonna order you $25 in product as a thank you for being part of the club. So, Club Create, um, I am taking signups, subscribers through the seventh. And every month you can, you can subscribe, um, but to get, so like in July, to get July's kit, you have to subscribe by July 7th. If you if you subscribe on July 8th, then you'll get August's kit. It's kind of like Paper Pumpkin. Um, you can cancel anytime, anytime. It's $39 a month, I don't think I said that. Um, you can cancel anytime uh, if you feel like it's not for you or you don't like what's coming up or whatever reason, you're easily cancel. Um, through PayPal and let me think of what else I think that's it it's kind of cool because the, a lot of times people th will email me and say oh I thought I registered for your class I missed the deadline blah, blah, blah. this you won't even have to worry about if you subscribe it's gonna automatically bill your PayPal account every month you're gonna get a fun kit every month designed by me um, with lots of goodies in it so if you're interested in Club Create the details are here on today's PDF did I, I don't know if I linked it at the bottom of today's post, I meant to do that. But it's yesterday's post, you can go back to it. Um, and message me if you want um, the link. Yes, Denise, so six months, and then you get a $25 credit on your sixth month that you've subscribed consecutively. Um, if we do not have the stamps, will there be a special host code? Lynn, I'm going, if you don't have the stamps, I'm going to offer to order it for you and I'm going to pay the tax and shipping on it if you add the stamp set onto your kit, um, you know, each month, whenever. I'm also gonna offer things like blends or whatever else you might need. Good question. Um, yes, the weekly kits, this Facebook Friday is not changing, so don't worry, this is not changing, this is staying the same. I will still be doing classes to go. Club Create is just something I'm adding on to the mix, just trying to keep things fresh and different. Um, you know, sometimes, 
um, I need things to change. I need something fresh and something new. So that's kind of where I was at with Stamp Club. I needed something um, new. Joy, do you have a sample of what would be in the kit each month? Joy, I do. I have already, I already have July's kit designed, but I have to keep it quiet until next week because of something that I, I will give you sneak peeks next week, okay? But I can't do it until next week. But yes, I always, I can't um, offer class when I haven't designed it or a kit or whatever. I am the kind of person that has to work way ahead of time. I don't work well under pressure. So I design it a month out. My classes I design a month ahead of time. The kits I will be designing. So like I'll design August's kit um, at like probably the second week of July. That way I have it in my mind, I know what's needed, and you'll know if you know if you want it or if you don't. Um, that way there'll be no surprises. Or I, I don't know, if you like surprises then maybe you don't wanna know. <laughs> but most of us wanna know. Okay, so Club Create, let me know if you want uh, to subscribe and I will send you that link, okay? Um, okay, so today, Facebook Friday, if you haven't joined me, I pick a stamp set or a bundle every week, and I design three projects with it. And this week, it is the cute fruit right here that I just mentioned at the beginning. It's not in the annual catalog. It's in that beginner brochure. It's also available on the website. And here's the PDF. Everything that I am going to show you today is on this PDF. You can go to pinkbuckaroo.com and... Um, <laughs> Catherine, you're making me laugh. Um, you can go to pinkbuckaroo.com, today's post, under the last photo, you'll find a link for this PDF. It's free, you know, it's free, it's totally free. Download it, print it, save it, whatever, you'll have the measurements. And I will say that I have kind of tweaked some things today after I typed this, so there may be a little bit of, mm, little variety, little change, and just know that the Cute Fruit Set is actually $16 and not $19, typo. Okay, um, oh, oh, the important part. If you would like these make and takes, these three projects sent to you in the mail, I will send them only for free if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight. I don't sell these, um, you can't order it. It's a free, it's a thank you gift for a $35 order, $35 plus, you know, or more order um, between now and Monday at midnight. And they look like this, they come, let me show you the zebra one from last week. This one was a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of pieces for the Z zany zebras last week. Um, I send you a little thank you tag. Um, you you need the stamps and the ink and the adhesive, but I send you everything else. There's no pre-stamped images. You'll have to do the stamping. Um, oh, Marion, it didn't go live on my blog? All right, I'll check it. Um, but anyway, it looks like this, and I mail them out on Wednesdays. I, I Tuesday morning, first thing I do, get up, write down everybody who who got one and i cut them and pack them and ship them on wednesday okay okay so let me see let's see i cannot do this real quick i um thought i hit publish maybe i didn't okay thank you for telling me and it's up I just didn't hit the last button. <laughs> okay let's get started i'm going to flip you guys around and you'll see today's projects. This uh, stamp set really, um, if you guys know me, you know I like to make 3D projects, right? I like to make little treat gifts, those kind of things. And I saw this and I was like, yep, that's gonna be on my first order. And I actually forgot to order it the first time, but now I have it. Um, you guys, my camera seems really far back. Okay, close your eyes. Don't look, I'm gonna make you dizzy real quick. Let's see if I can scoop this back a little bit. Come on. If you could see my setup, you guys, there's clamps and wires and all kinds of weird stuff. Well, I didn't really fix it, I'll have to do that later. But if I'm out of the screen, y'all just yell at me, okay? I think that'll be okay, yeah. All right, um, so what I was saying is, Tree packaging. So of course, that's immediately what I thought. Tree packaging, right? And um, Bath and Body Works, of course. 
there were, well, I'll tell you when we get to that. And then I'll show you what's in here. The fruit has these little smiley faces. And I know some people were like, that's super weird. And other people were like, oh my God, that's so cute. If you think it's cute, you can add the little cute faces. If you don't think that's cute, then leave them off. I did it on two of them, but I didn't put it on that one. You don't have to do the cute little faces if you think they're kind of creepy and weird. I don't think they're creepy and weird. I think they're so cute. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with this little box. And you know what I'm gonna tell you is in there. I'm sure you already know. It's a little Debbie treat. <laughs> I mean, little Debbie comes in handy, right? Walmart, got them at Walmart. Um, I have never had these before. I'm not a big banana fan, um, but my middle daughter is, and I'm gonna give these to her when I'm done. I'm sure she'll like them. Um, but anyway, a dollar ninety nine, and you get it says ten snake snake snakes. God, I hope not ten snack cakes but two are in a package. So really you only get five packages, okay? they I hate when they do that, 10 snack cakes. So you think you're getting 10, but no, you're getting five. Sneaky advertising. Um, there is a Little Debbie uh, snack finder. I linked it today on my blog, enter your zip code, and you will, um, it'll come out, you pick whichever snack you want, it'll tell you what stores in your area have them. Okay, um, I was also thinking that the little bananas, you know, if you have a, like a little birthday party, I know sometimes you do like a monkey theme, you know, the jungle, kind of like the zebras last week, this would be cute, right, for a party favor. I thought that would be cute. Okay, I was gonna tell you something else. Oh yeah, I am using two other stamp sets here. Thanks a bunch is actually from the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set. Um, I thought that that sentiment was really good. And the, the sentiments in here are really good too. I could have used, I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend, but I really liked the bunch, you know, a bunch of bananas. So I used that. Um, and then I'm gonna use this palette um, stamp right here from Palette Thoughts. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna be transparent and tell you, oh, here's my Simply Scored, that I, I um, recorded the clean recordings this morning of this so that um, if you guys want to make it again, or if you want to come back and make it, you don't have to go through Facebook Live. You can go over to just that single recording and it'll be faster and you won't have to listen to all the, you know, chatter. And when I got done, where is it? When I got done with a video, I realized, look, can you see? Let me, let me move this. The one that I made, the one that I made was bigger. And I was like, what, what the heck? And so I realized, I'll show you guys, this is what my notes look like. <laughs> this was me designing my box. And I had written down eight and a half by eight and a half, but I went back and pulled out this out of the trash and it's eight inches. So it will work, same score lines will work with eight and a half by eight and a half, but the eight inch one, is a better fit. This one has a little extra room. So anyways, just a little something. If you if you go watch the clean recording, I think I do say eight and a half by eight and a half. But today for this video, for Facebook Live, we're gonna do eight and a half by eight. Um, Susan says, or I have gone bananas for you party. Yes, that would be a cute party, wouldn't it? So cute. Um, Debbie, you remember eating these as a kid? Really? Are they good? I don't know. Okay, so eight and a half long side. Remember, PDF on my blog, measurements right here, all right? Long side at half an inch. Hopefully, hopefully I don't, I don't screw this up. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like changing midstream. Um, I like to make sure that it's right before I do this with you guys. Okay, half inch, two inch, four and a half, and six. And then turn it to the eight inch side and you're gonna score it at one and a half and mm, I have seven written on there, that's not right. So that needs to be six and a half. Okay, all right, you guys, if you have printed the PDF already, there, we, need to, we need to change that. I don't want you guys to do it wrong. So I think I changed it here to say eight by eight and a half. I'll go fix it and when we're done, so it'll be right. And this one should say five and a half. 
okay? So if you've already printed it, you need to change that. All right, I mean, those measurements will work too. Totally will work. But, uh, no, we're done with that, I don't need that. Um, but it's just a little bit taller. All right, splitting hairs here, I think. All right, get your bone folder and burnish, whoop, burnish all your lines. So you guys, today is my 21st wedding anniversary. Um, we are gonna go out to eat downtown um, at Denise at Bohannon's. We love that place. It's a very nice restaurant downtown. But I, um, <laughs> we made a reservation. Okay, let me tell you what I'm doing. Here's the skinny half inch side. We're gonna cut off these right here and we're gonna snip all these score lines, okay? So I um, got a thing and San Antonio has now mandated um, masks all the time everywhere. <laughs> and so the restaurant says you have to wear the masks in the restaurant if you're not sitting at a table. And I was like, okay, good. Cause I was like, how, how does that work if you're wearing a mask and you're eating? At a, at a nice restaurant. But basically they're saying, wear your mask to the table and then take it off. And if you get up to go to the bathroom or the bar or whatever, please wear your mask. I can, I can totally do that. Fine, that's totally okay. So we'll see. But it's a very, it's our, it's our favorite restaurant downtown. And uh, so we're gonna do that. All right, so I've cut all those lines. Let's um, cut the square, the four square ones, the smaller ones at, an angle. Ah. Thanks, you guys. And last year we celebrated, well, I guess we weren't in Greece, but we said Greece was our 20th wedding anniversary trip. It was a little, little bit later, like two weeks later, but this year we'll celebrate downtown that's okay that's all right please pray that this all just ends soon okay fast few did you guys hear that I called it fast fuse I'm gonna probably call it fast fuse for the next five years it's gonna be very hard for me to call it stamp and seal plus this is the new adhesive stamp and seal plus I like it a lot it does take a different touch at first I was like, why isn't this working for me? A light touch is all you need. And then if you do that, if you flick back like that, no problem. The check mark like we used to do with, with Fast Fuse does not do well with this. So use a light touch. Oh look, did I put it on the wrong side? Oh look, I told you, look, I'm telling you how awesome the adhesive is and it didn't even work. Okay, rewind. Okay, you guys, this this adhesive is so good. You need a light touch <laughs> and a flick. Oh my gosh, it really is good. I'm telling you, it's good. That's just how it works for me. Whenever I'm doing a video, nothing's gonna work right. But I do really, really like it. All right, so I put it easy on the, the long tab. And there's our box, okay? Simple box construction. If you can get your adhesive to work the right way. Now here's the back, the edge, and I'm gonna fold in these guys. This is just like the box we made last week. I'm gonna fold the front one last, all right? I want it, whoops, I want it to be, um, I want there to be a rounded edge on all of them, okay? Fast fuse, don't fail me now. Fast fuse, stamp and seal. Gosh, words are so hard for me, you guys. Why is that? <laughs> All right, let's put our little banana twin in there and fold this up. I'm not going to seal it. Let's see, is this the right size? Yep. So the measurements do need to be eight by eight and a half. But again, eight and a half by eight and a half will work too. It's just going to be a little bit taller. All right, this this ribbon, which. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit annoyed right now with this ribbon. Not with the ribbon itself, but with this, it was, this is called um, Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. It was not on low inventory the last time I checked. I've been watching because I'm using this, this ribbon for my sunflower class. Not on low inventory, but 
boom, all of a sudden today it's on back order. So I hope I ordered enough. I hope that I ordered enough. Anyways, we're gonna tie it closed. This is super cute ribbon, it's worth the wait. And I was surprised it hadn't gone on back order, that's why I was watching, because it's so cute. All right, now let's stamp our bananas. You can see I already did that this morning. Um, I need to get the right piece. Let's see, this is the right size, yeah, okay. So let's grab the banana and the bumblebee ink, which must be on another tray right here. Look, I love how these colors look together. Early espresso, cinnamon cider, and bumblebee. That's a good color palette right there. I thought so. Okay, banana. Banana. My friend Krista, I don't think Krista's watching. I don't think Krista stamps anymore, but my friend Krista, she's one of my Stampin' Up! friends from a long, long time ago. She hates bananas. Hates, like they gross her out so bad. And every time I do anything with a banana, I think about Krista. Because, I mean, she loathes them. Which is funny. I mean, I don't love them, but I don't hate them. They're all right. My kids love bananas, for sure. All right. Now, let's get the little, the little stem of the banana. It's a good color combo, right? Yeah, I like it too. All right, now, the this banana is not, it's kind of hard to tell which end needs the little stem. Um, if you stamp it just by itself, I think it's pretty easy to tell, but if you put the stem on either end, I think it'd be fine. No one's gonna be looking at, oh, she put the stem on the wrong end of the banana, that one right there. Nobody's gonna do that. So don't overthink it. And if they do, then just take your banana twins back. You don't need that kind of negativity. <laughs> um, cinnamon cider, stamp and blend. Um, this is the brush end and I'm just flicking some ink gently right there on that. Okay, there we have that. And then we're gonna um, adhere it. Um, Carol, they don't like your stomach, really. That's interesting because, you know, bananas are one of those things on like the brat diet when the doctor tells you to eat, you know, just bananas, rice, apple, and toast. Like if, you have, if you've been sick. So that's interesting that it um, upsets your stomach because I would think it would be one of those things that would be easy on your stomach. Maybe, I guess just not for everybody. There's never one size fits all, right? All right, so we're gonna adhere this to the front of our box. All right, now is Donna here today? Donna, we're fussy cutting. I'm sorry, my friend. Donna doesn't like to fussy cut. I'm sorry, but the banana doesn't have a die. Where I'm gonna stamp him now by himself over here on Bumblebee cardstock. And I'm gonna use the cinnamon cider again. So Bumblebee ink on Bumblebee cardstock. He's a little more um, dark than he was. <laughs> Joyce, <laughs> that's funny. Well, I'm learning a lot about you guys. Um, Christina, I flicked this part of the marker right here. I went like this, flick, like that. Now, you have to be careful because you do that a lot. It will make your ends kind of not perfect. But if you're like me and it's you think it's worth it, then go for it. Um, okay, the little face. Where's the little face? Right here. The banana, of course, needed a mustache. So he's, he doesn't have the smiley face. <laughs> Debbie, you know you're a mom when you mention the brat diet. That's right. That is right. All right, there we go. He's like a, he's like in disguise, a banana in disguise. All right, let's fussy cut him. And he's not difficult. Just go around the outside, all around. It's very quiet today in here. The dogs are upstairs with the girls. We have a friend over. They're upstairs. But they were not quiet this morning when I was trying to film those videos. They were not. Okay, 
Now let's bring over the stamp apparatus and we're gonna stamp that palette from the, what's it called? Palette Thoughts stamp set. Oh, I gotta get it out. I'm gonna use my uh, stamp apparatus here because this is a big stamp and it just makes it so much easier. Let's do it over here on the edge like that. All right, now, Cinnamon Cider. Oh, you guys, I'm running way behind today. I talked way too much. None of my projects are super, oh, got ink all over me. I don't have black yoga pants on today either. I have white shorts on, so there's no uh, wiping that off. All right, now, I am just going to, oh, here we go. I'm just gonna trim off two boards of this, okay? It doesn't have to be exact. I just didn't want it that thick. And then cut this at an angle here and this at an angle here. All right, now I can't stand that ink. Hold on. It looks gross on my, my finger. Wipe that off. All right, now we're ready to layer it up. And I've already done some of this stuff ahead of time. Although, where's my heart? I, this tray, oh, here it is. This tray totally dumped over a little while ago. So everything went flying and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be missing something. Okay, so we're gonna do the palette right here like that. And then we're going to do, I cut out this little label from the Stitched So Sweetly dies right here, like that. You know, I think the Cute Fruit stamp set might actually be on back order too. It was earlier in the week. But we make stamp sets in-house, so when a stamp set goes on back order, it's not for very long because they just make, them, make some more. Little banana. So if you go to order it, and it's on back order, don't panic. It won't be for very long. <laughs> Andy, good. I'm glad I'm making you laugh because if you can't laugh, you know, especially at yourself, what are you gonna do? We laugh a lot around here. Our family is, um, we're very sarcastic and silly. My husband wasn't very sarcastic before he got married. He uh, had trouble. <laughs> I had to train him how to be sarcastic and, you know. He's good at it now, he's too good at it. All right, whoops, I went a little bit too far in. Thanks a bunch. There we go, we're gonna put that right there and we are done. So now you have a banana party favor. There's probably all kinds of reasons you could use a banana party favor treat. I'm sure there's banana jokes. I'm sure, you know, is Lisa, my friend Lisa here, she works in a cafeteria. That would be a fun treat for cafeteria friends. You know, you're the ladies that serve up lunch. That's so cool, right? All right, so there you go. Um, if you make it with eight and a half inch by eight and a half inch, your box is gonna be a little bit taller or it can be a little bit smaller. Either way, it works. And now I've got to find three people to give banana treats to. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Now I have to use some of this on the next projects too, so I can't put it all over here. I need that one. And oh, my scissors, I need those. All right, now. The next project, I love this next project, but I found out when I was making the video this morning that it's very tedious. <laughs> and something else I did different. Here's my original. I used um, soft suede cardstock here. But then this morning I realized I had cinnamon cider. So either one works, right? And the reason I say it's tedious is because of these letters. These are the new um, playful alphabet dies. I love them more than any alphabet die we've had because they're small. Um, and they're just a basic font. I didn't like that weird scripty font we had, um, but I do really, really like these. So, um, and look, the, the paper that they come on has the, um, you know, it has the outline of the letters, so now you'll know if you're missing one, which is always my problem. Um, 
this one is the one that's going to give me trouble right here because that little dot I am going to put adhesive backing on our cardstock which is awesome until you're trying to make a video and you're trying to peel off the backing <laughs> uh, especially that tiny dot so we're going to see how that goes but just be prepared it's probably going to be annoying and tedious the other thing we're going to use is this die this is the plaid builder die have you guys seen this I love it and I really haven't used it how it's intended which is supposed to be like that we're just going to use this and I'm creating kind of that tone on tone um, background there in crumb cake and oh, one more the sentiment here again I strayed from the the other stamp set um, I put smile and then I thought well what else goes with smile why would you give somebody a card that says smile and I found this one in itty bitty birthdays it's sure to be a fun day and then inside you could stamp happy birthday or congratulations right or happy retirement you know like whatever it could be anything and you could even change these letters to say something else if you wanted all right don't feel locked into a card by its sentiment you don't need to do that all right let's start with our cute little pineapples and I wanted to make another 3d project with a pineapple but I really couldn't find anything um, pineapple -y. Oh, that didn't stamp very well. Let's try that again. Where is my stamp cleaner? It's here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. Hello, I'm not seeing it. And I set it out. I thought I put it right there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Here it is. Oh, wow. I actually put it where it went. Um, there's some pineapple gum, but I feel like I've done that before. I didn't want to do that again. And I did find, um, there's like a, a nut mix that has pineapple in it, dried pineapple. And I did buy it, but I, mm, I don't know. It just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. So I decided let's make a card because I know there's some of you out there who want cards and not 3Ds, but be on the look for pineapple things and the other fruit in here are kiwi and citrus it could be a lime or lemon or orange and a watermelon and there may be something else I can't remember this I did in bumblebee and granny apple green and we will use soft suede and we're going to put the faces this time because they're so cute we'll do that little guy and the mustache guy right there, okay? All right, oh, wait, nope, one more thing. Just one more thing. It's sure to be a fun day. I'm gonna stamp that right up there. All right. All right, hi, Carrie Ann, it's nice to see you. I'm glad you caught me live too. Mm, somebody's making popcorn and it smells delicious. I know who makes popcorn, my little one, she loves popcorn, and it's the kettle corn popcorn. Yum. All right, fussy cutting, you know the drill. Small scissors stay on the outside of the image, leaving a little cloud around the outside. This will fool the eye. Um, if your cutting is not so great, which mine is not so great right now. And another tip that I like to give is to turn the stamp, not the scissors. See how I'm kind of driving the stamp over here with my left hand, twisting and turning. And that will help to keep your, your cuts a little bit smoother. All right, so round and round. And if you hate this, then just do it on a circle, a circle die. Um, so this week um, I designed my class to go for next month and it is the whale, um, whale done, whale of a time, sweet. It's gorgeous. I mean, that paper is gorgeous. The colors are so pretty. So I, and I think I mentioned to you guys that paper is so pretty, I had to make a mini album. So we're gonna make a mini album in that class. And then I made a bunch of cards and I, I don't know, they're all gonna be in the tutorial, but I can't include all of them in the class cause that would take me a million years. Um, and I didn't do any 3Ds. Um, 
but the cards are stunning. The paper is stunning. I can't wait for you guys to see the mini album. That will, I'll have that out next Friday for you guys, okay? So that will be July's class to go. All right, we've got our little pineapples. And you know what, before I lose this, why is everything disappearing today? Is it on the tray? Yes, it is, I left it on the tray. I'm just gonna cut this sentiment right here like that okay just I mean no you know just trim it use a scrap trim it down all right that guy we don't need now we're gonna do a lot of die cutting and if you know me you know I don't like that fine tip glue pen I want to like it and I want to use it and I, I just can't I'm just not good at it so think the Lord. We now have these adhesive um, sheets, right? So you just peel it off. It's a little bit different than the other ones that we had. Um, and you cover the cardstock that you're going to use like this. And then you run the cardstock through your die cut machine. And it's then a sticker. And you just peel off the backing and you stick it down. Okay, so the, there's those two pieces for the grid. And then here's the piece for um, the words. And I'm gonna do something, I was really having a time. Um, let me think about how I wanna do this. I was really having a time <laughs> this morning getting the backings off because of my nails. And really, I think that's the reason, not it was my nails. So I thought, what if I, did like this like left just a little bit of a separation right there like a line so that then I will have just a tiny little place where I can you know peel it off if that makes sense so on the other side I'm gonna put the letters like that I need to trim this off because this will get all gunky I made it a little bit too big so these are adhesive sheets you'll find these and I meant to put these on the PDF darn it I forgot um, but these um, are on the adhesive page in the catalog. And I have almost gone through a whole pack. They're great. All right, let me make room here for this guy. And we'll, let's do the letters first since I'm, I have that fresh on my mind, okay? Thanks, Carla. That, this is the nail color I go back to every time. Like I, I'll adventure and do something else and then I go back to it. It's like, poppy parade kind of you know like not super red it has a little bit of a little bit of pink I think all right S M I oh I don't have to spell it right here it doesn't matter but I want to keep it all kind of on that line okay well those are those <laughs> oh my gosh come on guys don't make me look stupid there we go let's see all right my magnets for making them pop around. All right, we're gonna run that through. And when you add that adhesive backing, it makes it a little bit thicker. So go through, you know, two, two or three times and you can turn around and see, yeah, it cut. All right, so let me put that all there and then we'll do the grids. This is again from the Plaid Builder dies. Mary, thank you. Well, you'll see in a minute. I I don't know. I struggle, and I think it's because of these darn nails. I struggled really getting the backing off um, when I was trying to make my video today. So when I edited the clean video, I made it go fast. like So you wouldn't have to see me like trying to. And I don't want to you guys to have to sit here for 10 minutes during Facebook Live while I try to peel off the backing. That's why I do a clean recording so that I can work out all the kinks <laughs> before I go live. Oh, it's like my rehearsal. And I still make mistakes even though I rehearse. That's all right. That's the fun of live. Live, I tell my downline when I am encouraging them to try Facebook Live, I say, you know, the, the fun of life is that you make mistakes and that people get to know you a little bit better and it's okay. If it was perfect, it would be boring and unrealistic, right? Kind of like, kind of like life. All right. Now, 
I know the Facebook lives I love to watch are when people are themselves and not trying to be, you know, super perfect. All right, so we've got those. So let's put this together. Oh, I meant to emboss that. Well, we'll have to do that in a second. All right, card. Here's our card base. Crumb cake on crumb cake. Because remember, I ordered way too much crumb cake cardstock, so we're working through <laughs> the, like, 10 packs of crumb cake cardstock that I have. Uh, everything's crumb cake. All right, now... I wanted to just do kind of a, you know, like offset kind of, just a texture really. I, I don't know. Um, so I did one and then another. Now if you're good with Tombow, just use Tombow on this. And if you get the um, Facebook Friday free make and takes, I will have it cut for you without the adhesive on the back. So you'll have to use your Tombow. All right, now I'm gonna take this and center it in the middle like that. So see, it's just part of the card front. It's abstract, right? It's just abstract. And then we're just gonna cut them off. Now these little guys, since I made, I made this card, I don't know, last weekend. We have been finding these little sticky things on everything this week. <laughs> They've been on everything because they have adhesive on the back. So just be prepared. Look, they're all sticking to the scissors. So then I'm gonna set those aside. And I'm gonna, oh look, I collected all of them. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there and take care of that later. Okay, oh man, I gotta emboss this. I wish I had done that when I had the big shot up here. Okay, the I wanted to add some texture to this bumblebee uh, piece. And so I was looking at my embossing folders and this one I thought looks just like a pineapple. That looks like the texture of a pineapple. So that's the one I'm using. It's the hammered metal embossing folder. And I had, oh, right here. Oh, it's under everything. Sorry, I'm reaching, sorry, sorry. Um, so hammered metal or pineapple. I like to find different, you know, different ways to use something or, or make it look like something it wasn't necessarily intended to look like. I think that that's what we did there. All right, so now, okay, stamp and seal plus. Look, see, it worked beautifully. <laughs> that time it did. All right, I put that at an angle and I'm gonna snip that off. And now we're gonna do these letters, okay? So go get your popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> and watch me struggle with the adhesive. Um, but let's see, hopefully what I did, um, where is my take a tool? Is this the one? Yeah, hopefully what I did will help. I think so. And I'm afraid I'm gonna lose those. I need to put them in a spot before I start cleaning up and, you know, um, wiping them into the trash because they're little, they are little. So again, with these, I even thought maybe it might be better to do um, liquid glue. However, I don't think so because this is a this is what this um, adhesive is designed for for these things that are hard to glue on, like words. And the only reason that I am struggling is because I'm making a video, right? You know, if you're at your house and you're, you're watching a movie, whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, if you struggle <laughs> picking them up with your fingernails. Um, but the, that little dot's gonna give us some issue. So we're gonna save that little dot for the end and we'll see. That dot may need to just get some adhesive. All right, so look, this didn't work because well, yeah, okay. So what I did, you guys can see that line, those lines, but this one I didn't get on that line. So there we go, there's that, S-M-I-L-E, right here. And I can take that, see, because I left that little um, strip of cardstock there, it's supposed to make it there a little bit easier. S-M-I-L-E, I'm gonna spell it wrong, all right. Next is the L. Bye, Trisha. 
Magnetic dish. You know, Peggy, you're not the first person to tell me that. And my friend Sue even made me this adorable little magnetic frame. And I'm just lazy and disorganized. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. There's lots of things. I even have the magnetic um, things sitting over here, but yet I just throw them. Yeah, I know. You know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm always like, I'm, I'm in a hurry. I want to do things fast. It's very hard for me to slow down. Um, so, and I know that's a dumb thing to say, like just, okay, put them in the magnetic thing, but still, I know you're right. You're right. And I still have that adorable little frame that Sue made me. It's right under this table. I just should pull it out. All right, that went much easier than, than earlier. Now, let's see. This, we need to get a microscope out for this one. Let's see if I can peel off. Oh, oh, there, okay. Now, look at that. See, I was talking bad about these letters and they were like, hey, lady, we can, we can do what we're supposed to do. Boom, done, look at that, I did it. All right, did I spell it right? <laughs> yes, Whew. all right, I'm sweating. No, not really. Okay, <laughs> let's put the pineapples on here. Carla, I'm, you, you know, I'm not lazy, but I just don't, I wanna do what I wanna do. You know, like I don't wanna clean. I don't wanna, um, look, I, I put that way higher than that one. That's okay. Um, I don't want to do things that aren't what I want to do. So, you know, there's a difference. I know. Uh-oh, that went too high. Okay, come on. What time is it? Oh, goodness. Y'all, I'm keeping you late because we got another project. The next one's fast. All right, there we go. It's sure to be a fun day. And we got to put a bow, linen trim, linen thread, linen thread. The FedEx guy is sitting outside the house in his truck. Doesn't he know three schnauzers live here? Oops, that hurt. that's the wrong scissors. I mean, come on. I need to put like a flag in the yard. Please do not loiter. Schnauzers live here, but they are upstairs. They're, they are upstairs and the girls are entertaining them. So we're okay. All right, linen bow, done, so cute. So you can either do it in cinnamon cider or soft suede. I think I like soft suede better, but either one works, right? There you go. Project number two. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to get this done so that you guys can go do whatever you need to do. All right. Hopefully you guys are getting out of your house. Some maybe. Yes. No. I know some people are not ready for that, but even just to go outside, Oh, makes a huge difference. And now here it's too hot to go outside. We go from, you know, it's nice to, oh my gosh, it's so hot for like the next five months. Oh well. But in the winter we can go outside all the time, which is good. All right, so here's the Bath and Body Works holder. I had, this was the very first design um, that I did for a hand sanitizer holder. I've done dozens of these over the years, different, some the same. And so this one I decided let's pull out the original design and do that. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? So you're gonna need a piece of Whisper White Thick cardstock that is two inches by 11. And I need my notes here. You're gonna score the long side at half an inch, um, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, six and three fourths, seven and three fourths, and that's it. All right, now let's burnish all those lines. Hello, Mac. I guess not all the dogs are upstairs, but he, he's, he's pretty good. He's not the super grouchy one. All right, now I have tried lots of different things to hold the hand sanitizer. See right there but the scalloped oval I have found works the best oh so watermelon lemonade is the flavor um, our Bath and Body Works opened last week but online they have got lots of hand sanitizer and they had some really really cute fruit ones um, 
online last week and I went to my store and they didn't have them and I haven't seen them online again but keep your eye out they were cute um, they were cuter than that one okay so here's that first section right that's not the section we're gonna do it's the second one you're gonna put that scalloped oval right there the dogs looking at me he has no idea who I'm talking to and we're gonna cut that little opening all right and that's that's it now watch how easy this is to put together stamp and seal plus and I'm just gonna basically roll it all in that's it and I'm just gonna you just need to look here well I have to lay it down to do it but you want to make sure that it's square on the bottom okay and I'll show you from the side like that so that's it that's it you just close it like that and I'm gonna use these little button magnets. These button magnets are so awesome. They're from Amazon, they're very inexpensive. I linked them on my blog. They are on back order. They're not stamping up, <laughs> they're Amazon. Um, they're on back order, but they're great. Um, so if you wanna get these, you can find that link on my blog. All right, so I'm gonna get two glue dots. Oh look, it's repelling my scissors, how funny. Um, one glue dot just isn't really strong enough for this. Um, so I'm gonna put two glue dots on here. Boy, they don't like my scissors at all. He says, go to the other side. My scissors must be magnetized. All right, so there we have that, like that. Well, I didn't do a very good job of that, but we're gonna go with it. And then we're gonna put one there. Hot glue, too, you could do hot glue. Um, if you wanted and then we're going to close that down on there and they will hopefully stay stuck and it just snaps closed they're really inexpensive those little button uh, magnets and they're so cute all right so now we're going to save the stamping for last we're going to just layer everything on this is a dsp from the flowers for every season three inches by two and three eighths this is a stitched label from the Hippo and Friends dies. We used this last week too. Your one in a melon that is from this cute stamp set in Poppy Parade. Um, and let's see, oh, oh, we're gonna use a vellum doily. You should add these onto your next order because they're so fun. They really just, just add just a little something. They, you know, they're, kind of wispy and light and they're not really going to take up a lot of space you know with your visually with your eye but it just adds a little something to your project so you should add them on I think they're like five dollars you get a whole pack of them all right I gave them to my team this month everybody who sold over six hundred dollars got a pack of those that was my six hundred dollar gift this month because I love them all right now we're ready to stamp you're gonna need your stamparatus for this, unless you are way amazing, <laughs> which I'm sure some of you are. I could not get the watermelon and the lemon to line up. Um, you'll see, I just could not get them to line up. So I thought, why, why am I doing this? Get out the stamparatus and where the heck did the stamps go? Here, oh, why do I keep putting what I need on the bottom? Um, get out the stamparatus and uh, easy peasy okay so so put your start with your watermelon piece like that and we're gonna use magenta madness okay stamp oops stamp again that's why we have the stamparatus look well all right let's do it again I obviously didn't ink it very well because I'm trying to hurry. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> now the rind part. This is where I just couldn't get these lined up. So you can layer, lay it here. And I'm going to scoot it down so I can see. Okay. Lay it there. Carefully pick it up and grab your ink that's on the other side of the room. And this is Granny Apple. There you have it. 
Ta -da. I know it makes it so much easier. Now the lemon. Oh, I have the lemon on the back of this one. Um, I'm using so saffron and I can't remember what my reasoning was um, for that. Maybe because it matches the yellow in the DSP better. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, so there's that. And then we'll take the layering, the outside rind part. And this one's a little bit harder. So you got to really get on top of it. And we will stamp that oh, like a glove. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to get on top of it. And now you guys probably can't see. Hold on. There we go. Oh, did I shake it? Okay, lay it down, pick it up, ink. See, um, so this is a really good reason to keep all those um, those little stamping spots that come in your paper pumpkin. Because see, with the big um, ink pad, sometimes you get ink on your glass. I mean, it washes off, but it can mess up your project too. And the little spots, doo -doo -doo, tap it there and it's perfect. And then eventually you'll have all the colors. And we have new stamping spots in the catalog. Have you guys seen that? It's not all the colors. It's a little collection of colors, basic colors. All right. I know fussy cutting. Boo hiss, but it's easy. You're just cutting out the watermelon. Watermelon. All right. Go all the way around. Now I'm going to use something that's retired. Okay. But I feel certain that many of you have what I'm going to use. It is the three quarter inch circle punch. What in the heck? Some kind of sticker on there. Three quarter inch circle punch. It's retired. It's not in the catalog. Um, but look at that. Okay. And the one inch circle punch will work too. It leaves a little bit of a white circle around the edge, but use what you have. All right. I'm going to cut one of these in half. All right, let's layer them up. Um, dimensionals, I need a big dimensional here. I'm gonna add something to this fruit to make it shiny in just a second. So don't leave, because you wanna see what's, what's gonna make it look like glistening fruit. All right, there's that. And then we're gonna do the little half wedge. Um, normally I would probably do this next part first, but this takes a good 10 minutes to dry this crystal shimmer, shimmery crystal effects. Um, this was in the holiday catalog last fall and now it's in the annual catalog. Um, I would probably do this before I put them on here, but we don't have that time. So let me just show you, I'm going to take it and I'm going to just add some like that, right? Then get an old paint brush or old aqua painter and then just brush it around. I stress old paintbrush, old aqua painter because this stuff dries like glue. Um, like it's really good glue actually. It works really well as a strong glue. Um, and so it will ruin your paintbrush or whatever. Um, I have one just set aside that I use for that. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. This uh, crystal effects has glitter in it, so it's a little glittery. Okay, and voila, we are done. Isn't that cute? So cute, if I do say so myself. You guys, we're done. What time is it? I'm late. Whoa, three, I mean, 310. I have an hour and 10 minutes today. Thanks for hanging with me today, you guys. Let's review. We made three cute fruit projects. If you would like for me to send these to you in the mail for free next week, make sure you use this host code on your order. Uh, all orders over $35 that use the host code will get these for free. I always want to mention too, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you get stamp and rewards. I will still send you the free make and takes. I'll see that you put that order in and I will still send you the make and takes and I want you to get those stamping rewards. But if your order is less than $150, please use that host code. Um, go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. You'll get the PDF, everything you need on here. Um, here's the host code on here too. 
it is the right one yes and measurements and the, the things that I told you about the sunflower class don't forget sign up for that by Sunday club create um, all-star tutorial I didn't even talk about that today and that starter kit bonus and we're done you guys I hope you have a great weekend I haven't decided what we're gonna do next Friday I have made a list of what I want to do for Fridays but I haven't decided what I'm gonna which one I'm gonna use next week so it will be a surprise all right you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next Friday same time two o'clock bye guys thank you bye